Hi ladies, welcome to today's shoulders and calves workout. If you are new, there are a couple of things you need to know. First and foremost, my name is Vanessa Palm. I'm your personal trainer. My Facebook page is Vanessa Palm Wellness. What you will find if you follow my page is that I share four workouts a week. This is number four this week. I do tell you when to rest and I give you suggest suggested activities of what you can do on your rest days. And I also promote products. The product part of it is where you can support me. The training I provide for you at no charge. If you have any health and wellness requirements, whether it be supplement or skin or beauty or health or nails or whatever it is that you're looking for, please ask me. Let me see if I can hook you up and your support would be greatly appreciated. And that's to any ladies, almost anywhere in the world, I can distribute to you. Hopefully almost any, almost all of you. Okay. Um, very, very importantly, medical. If you've ever been advised not to partake in medical, I mean, sorry, in physical activity, please don't continue. If you haven't been cleared by a medical practitioner, I strongly advise that you do seek medical clearance before you continue. And if you continue without that, it is at your own risk. Okay, please be sensible. Your health is everything. Okay. In, in keeping with that, what I provide for you is not only this full workout, but I also give you a little video that tells you exactly what today's workout is going to entail. And I give you a separate video. You'll see this is part of a playlist. Each one of those videos teaches you how to execute each exercise in the workout properly with the personal training element. I do teach during the class, but it's not in as nearly as much detail as that. Take the time, if you didn't do so today in future, to go through those so that you can learn. Because sometimes there are slightly trickier ones, like our warm-up today, and it helps you to just prepare yourself for it. Don't worry if you don't know the sun greeting in the warm-up. There is a second part of the warm-up, so you can just follow to the best of your ability, okay? As I said, today's shoulders and calves. You're going to need dumbbells. I've got three on standby, three kilograms, four kilograms, and five kilograms. That'll give you an indication, five being quite heavy, for shoulders. Okay, so if you've got ones, twos, and threes, that's perfect. If you've got no weights and have to use tin cans, that's fine. Okay, for today. Sweat towel, water, mat, that's pretty much all we need. And the workouts are very rarely over an hour, usually a little bit under, and that includes the stretch for which I urge you to stay. Okay, all right, we're going to start. Get ready. Oh, and if you have a skipping rope, have it on standby. Not a deal breaker if you don't. You can just jump on the spot or do jumping jacks. Okay. yoga movement but this isn't yoga so don't worry about the form it's just to get some blood going okay hands in front of you like that you're going to reach forward and up you're going to reach down to the ground to your toes remember you're warming up so you might be a bit tight still right leg kick it back please okay i'm holding it so you can Right, 
greetings, split in each half. You can choose now, skipping with or without a rope, or jumping jacks, completely your call, okay? I'm going to grab my skipping rope.
and some water. So we're going to go into another shoulder exercise. Use the same weight as last time. Now we're going to do a jump. 
jump and squat, okay? Squat, jump, sorry. Now it's a jump and squat. So watch, jump, squat. Jump, squat. Jump, squat. Got it? Join me. Three, two, one, and jump, squat. Jump, squat. Watch. Keep that back straight.
I'm going to change the way I hold the dumbbells in round two and round three. That would be pretty much all the instruction that's coming. For those of you who needed a break, you've just had it. I'm going to have a quick sip of water. I'm going to pick up the four kilograms this time. If you feel you'd like to stay on the weight you started on, that's fine. You manage your process. Stay safe, please. Okay, so we start with the front raise. Yes? Now, instead of having my hands here, I will have them here and I will raise them the way I'm showing you. Okay, all right. Let's go. In three, two, one. Let's go. One. Ready for your shoulder reverse raise? That's the one where we've been waiting for. 
forwards or far, or far hip joint. Stand upright, lean a tiny bit. Right, the last time, we were here with our palms facing one another. Palms are going to face the back now. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. One. Well done. You take your eye off the ball for just 
a moment of holding that gaze or that spot. Use your balance. I've done it twice now. It happens, you just carry on. Okay? Tiny break, ladies. We have one more round, and then we're going to go into stretching. This was a shoulder intensive workout. There's only so much you can do to your little shoulders. Let's not hurt them, okay? Not hurt them in a bad way, anyway. Have some water. So we're going to a different hand position again. Just watch me for that. I'm going to try go up to fives. My shoulders are burning. I don't know about you. I'm going to try. But I'm going to have my fours and threes on standby. In fact, if I fail on the five, I'm going to drop straight to a three and carry on. Okay? For the front raise this time, palms facing ahead of you. Look at my hands. That's how I'd like you to start. This does a little bit of chest as well, okay? You're going to one, one. So your chest, your pecs, and your shoulders work together on this one. A little bit of help, okay? Three, two, one, and one. One, control, two, two, three. Keep those arms as straight as you can, please. Four, watch from the side, four.
Okay, let's get ready for the squat jump. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, well done. We've seen the back of squat side crunches. Have some water. Squat jumps. We've got one more jump and squat. Workouts from a cardio perspective is nice and forgiving, okay? If that concerns you as to whether this program is suitable for you or not, don't let it. I'm telling you how far you have. When you are ahead, when you look back, you will see how far you've come if you're struggling today. Many of my ladies have struggled in the beginning, many. Perseverance, a few weeks later, much better. They tell me stories how they can't believe their progress. All right, that's definitely enough of a break for you. We're going into our reverse raise. I'm going to try these fives again. This is going to make it a bit tricky. This is quite an awkward one because we have our hands forward. Please don't let your shoulders drop forward. You will hurt your back. Shoulders back. Stick out your tailbone, stick out your chest. And it's one. One. Okay, watch from the front. One. One. Pull the weight up with your shoulder. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Well done. 
Well done, well done. Burning shoulders. If you find that the soles of your feet hurt when you do high reps of calves, you need to just push through. You need to try and do as many of those freestanding calves in your own time as you can. You just need to strengthen so that your calves can start to benefit. Otherwise, your feet fail before your calves do. Okay, it's common. Nothing to be concerned with. If you are concerned, look up your local podiatrist. Go and have your feet checked. Make sure your arches are not collapsing or anything dodgy like that. But if it only hurts when you're doing calves and no other time, you likely just need to do more of these no weight freestanding calf exercises. Okay, just sit like I am for now. Just, just find your center, sit quietly. Please don't butterfly, your legs don't flap them, okay please, it's not necessary, just very gently as you're after you've sat here for a while, just pull your knees apart, push them down towards the gro ground, feeling a lovely stretch in your inner thigh. No, we didn't do inner thigh today, but usually I like to start my stretching like this, okay. Right, when you're ready, another one which is good because our ankles can be tricky and as we're older, they start to give us more trouble. So let's keep them as flexible as we possibly can. Sit on your haunches and sit back onto your heels as much as you possibly can. I'm not too phased what's going on with your upper body, okay? If this is very sore for you, Try to do this more often. Again, if you're concerned about injury or anything, go and see somebody. But very few, a lot of people find this very difficult around the ankle joint, myself included, a long time ago. So to sit like this for a while and then just come up, release your ankles, and go back down again. Again, try and do that as often as you can. Just sit for a while, opening up the knee joint around the anterior aspect anyway, sitting onto our heels, anterior front of our knee. Okay, I'm going to face you, stay there. If you're not facing me, then face me now, please. Go back into that position. If you're finding it too uncomfortable and too distracting, then just come up like this for me, that's fine. We're going to work on our shoulder stretch palm up ahead of you please 
facing inwards. Grab your elbow with your other hand. Pull your arm straight as it, as it is across your body. Underneath. Please don't bring it up here. Down. Just above your chest. Okay? You should feel a lovely stretch at the back of your shoulder. Pull it with this hand. Hold it there. Water. If you find that you're not drinking enough water, take advantage of your training to get into the habit to start it by drinking as much water as possible. I seldom will go through less than a litre in one of these workouts with you. You saw I went through two bottles today. Sometimes one and a half. At least I know I'm working water through my body as it makes its way through the metabolic processes. If you haven't already changed and following me, please change now and hold it. You'll notice during our stretches that I'm not too particular about perfect form in your stretch. My most concern, my biggest concern is that you are stretching the muscle group that we, we're intending to stretch at the time, in this instance, the shoulder. Stretching for me is about functionality. Okay, we're not trying to be ballerinas or yoga instructors. Obviously, if you have an end result in particular that you're after, that's a different thing. I just want you to be able to sit on the ground, stand up again, sit down again, move around without discomfort and without really struggling to get a leg or an arm into the position that it's naturally designed to do. Okay, so that for me is about stretching. We all have our different natural range of motions. Mine is relatively inflexible, so I understand what, what it's like. Okay, you're going to stand up slowly, please, not too fast. Find yourself a door frame or something that you can hold onto the side of. You're going to drop your heel, watch, watch me, and you're going to bring your hips, you're going to drive your hips up and as far to, as close as to the surface that you're pulling against, leaving your heel as close to the bottom as you can, so that you get a lovely pull at the top of your gastrocnemius, which is the, the ball part of your calf, the shape that we're looking for. Hold it. Right. Release it. Change. Same again. Put it up. Beautiful. Now, this might be a bit slippery for me, but if you want to stretch out the bottom, your Achilles tendon, and into your soleus, which is the bottom part of your calf. You're going to push that heel down towards the ground. I'm struggling a little bit. I'm stretching in my socks. I mean slipping. So I'm not pushing as hard as I can. And ideally what you want to do is drop your hip down and drive that heel into the ground, driving your hip forward at the same time. Okay. Release it and change. Hip forward, heel down, head up. Okay, well done. Those are the two major muscle groups we work today. If you'd like to stretch more of your body, go to my Facebook page. You'll see that I've shared a stretching sheet regularly. Go and have a look at that. Learn from it. It's a great thing to use on your day off as well, just to work through your body and loosen up. Okay. Ladies, very well done. We're going into a two-day break after today. Next up will be chest and triceps, and as always, an element of core and cardio. If you're looking for any products, don't forget to contact me. Thank you for your support. My name is Vanessa Palm. I will see you in three days' time.